Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're going to be looking at the iPod Touch and talking about whether or not there's ever going to be another one. So without further ado, let's just jump into this. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm actually posting a review on the iPod Touch 6th generation tomorrow. So if you're in the future, it's already posted. Link will be down below. And let's quickly summarize the iPod 6 right now for this video. So the last iPod was released back in mid-2015 pretty randomly and replaced the iPod Touch 5th gen that had been around since 2012. It was a much needed upgrade as it drastically improved the speed as the iPod 5 had only the A5 processor and half a gig of RAM, resulting in some pretty poor performance, I would say. It did keep basically the same design with a few different colors and improved the camera processor and so on and so forth. It was more of the same, but better. It holds Apple's A8 chipset and one gigabit of RAM and is currently supported all the way up to iOS 11 and could very likely receive iOS 12 as well. So the iPod Touch 6 is starting to feel a little bit dated at this point, and even though the specs are okay, performance tells a different story. On iOS 11, it isn't the greatest, and the best I could equate it to is probably the iPhone 5S. It's not, it's not quite as bad as the 5S. I would say it's somewhere on an in-between between the 5S and the iPhone 6, as it is an A8 processor, but it is un also underclocked a little bit, so it's not going to be quite as fast as the iPhone 6 in most scenarios. While the specs were top of the line a couple years ago, only having a single gig of RAM is really hurting it, and I'd say it's fine time for an upgrade on Apple's part. However, right now there isn't really much indication that that could ever happen, which is kind of a pity. So let's talk about what Apple's been doing with iPods in general. Uh, so they actually discontinued the iPod Shuffle and iPod Nano, in July of 2017. This isn't really a surprise, they were massively outdated and Apple just hasn't seemed interested in updating them. So it's, I think, pretty clear that the iPod family is dying, which is really sad, but that's just the way the wind blows. So the iPod Touch 6th generation actually got a minor price decrease in July, which is uh, not completely out of the ordinary considering how old it is. But not only did it see that price drop, it also saw a reduction in capacity options, which is kind of a sign that Apple might be phasing the product out. It's not out of the question to see an update to the iPod Touch in the near future, but at this point it seems kind of unlikely Apple is, you know, gonna do much with it, which I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. Judging by Apple's patterns, if we're going to see another iPod Touch, we're going to see it in 2018. The iPod 5 came out in 2012, the iPod 6 came out in 2015, therefore three years, the iPod 7 would come out in 2018. So I think by the end of the summer of 2018, we're going to know for sure whether or not there's going to be a new iPod Touch. I personally don't think there will be, I think they're going to discontinue it, which sucks. I really like the iPod Touch. I didn't need a phone for many years, like an actual phone to text and call with, so I just used an iPod. It was cheaper and it seemed like a really good option. So let's let's talk about where to go from there for people then, because if the iPod does disappear, well, for most people, that's not going to be a huge deal. For those users who really like having an iPod Touch, you're probably not going to be too happy. So the best thing you can do is probably buy a used iPhone. And the one I would recommend for if you're upgrading from the iPod Touch or you're just looking for that kind of thing in general would be the iPhone SE. It has the A9 processor, which doesn't sound much better than the A8 when you're just talking about it because it's only one year ahead, but it also has two gigabytes of RAM, which means that you're guaranteeing not only an extra year of support, quite a bit faster performance. If we did see an iPod Touch 7, I would like to see a fingerprint sensor, I'd like to see them keep the headphone jack, I just can't see Apple releasing an iPod Touch in 2018 or ever again. I could be wrong, I really hope I'm wrong, I'm just saying do not get your hopes up. Now for the record, people were in September thinking maybe there could be an iPod Touch 7th generation, as it seemed to be a little bit hinted in the iOS 11 code, there was a build number in the iOS 11 version that made it look like there was going to be a new iPod with Face ID. Now if that happened, that would be absolutely Absolutely insane. Could you imagine iPhone 10 in the iPod body? But it wouldn't make any sense. That sounds completely contradictory to anything Apple would do. It just doesn't make sense. Why would you put Face ID on the iPod Touch? It's just extremely unnecessary. So overall, other than that little line of code, we have zero indicators that there is going to be ever another iPod Touch. If there is, you can bet that I will immediately post a video on it. And so make sure you subscribe to see if that ever happens. So at the end of the day, don't expect a new iPod. It could happen. I really hope it does, but it probably won't. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out that review when that's posted. Make sure you follow me on social media, linked down below. And uh, with that being said, I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and I will see you all next time.